the story of the US F-35 fighter jet and its special version for Israel. The F-35 jet is the cornerstone of the modern US military aviation arsenal. It is known for its advanced stealth technology, significant firepower, wide operational range, and long reach. These features were crucial in Israel's recent operation against the port of Hodeidah in Yemen when Israel responded to an attack by Ansar Allah Houthis, who targeted Tel Aviv with a Yaffa drone. The F-35 program, known as the Joint Strike Fighter JSF, was launched in the 1990s to develop a versatile, multi-role aircraft that could serve various branches of the US military and allied nations. The initiative aimed to create a common platform to replace the multiple types of aircraft used by the US Air Force, Navy, and Marines, along with NATO and Allied Air Forces. Several companies competed for the contract to develop the fighter jet, but it eventually came down to two prototypes, the X-35 from Lockheed Martin and the X-32 from Boeing. On October 26, 2001, the X-35 was selected over the X-32. A key factor was the X-35's ability for short takeoff and vertical landing STOVL, which used a lift fan system that provided better performance compared to the X-32. The aircraft was then renamed the F-35 Lightning II in honor of the Lockheed P-38 Lightning, which the US Air Force used during World War II. 35A first flew on December 15, 2006. Variants of the F-35 The F-35 Lightning II comes in three main versions designed for different branches of the US military and allied forces. F-35A Used by the US Air Force, this is the lightest and smallest version. It features a 25mm internal gun, a combat load of up to 18,000 pounds, and a range of over 1,200 nautical miles. It can serve as a communication hub, relaying information to other aircraft and command units, and entered service in August 2016. F-35B, designed for the US Marine Corps and the British Royal Navy, this version uses a Rolls-Royce lift system for short takeoff and vertical landing. It can carry up to 15,000 pounds of weapons, with a range of about 900 nautical miles. It entered service in July 2015, F-35C. Built for the US Navy, this version has larger wings and stronger landing gear to handle catapult launches and landings on aircraft carriers. Its wingspan is 43 feet, with folding wingtips for better storage and it holds 19,750 pounds of internal fuel, providing a range of over 1,200 nautical miles. It entered service in February 2019, the Adir version for Israel. In addition to the three main variants, a special version was designed for the Israeli Air Force, IAF, called the F-35I Adir, meaning the mighty in Hebrew. This aircraft plays a key role in Israel's defense strategy due to its advanced capabilities and customized features. One prominent feature is its integration with Israel's electronic warfare systems, developed by Israeli defense companies like Elbit Systems and Israel Aerospace Industries. These systems include advanced sensors, countermeasures, and radar jamming pods. Additionally, the jet is equipped with an Israeli-made command, control, communication, and computing C4, system, allowing for seamless communication and data exchange with other Israeli defense systems. The aircraft is also tailored to carry a range of Israeli-developed weapons, such as the short-range Python 5 air-to-air -air missile and the precision-guided spice bomb. Israeli pilots use a custom helmet-mounted display system in the jet, which provides essential flight and combat information directly within their line of sight. First operational use. The Adir was the first version of the F-35 to see combat, with initial missions targeting Iranian military infrastructure in Syria in 2018. The Israeli Air Force operates several squadrons of the jet, including the 116th Lions of the South, the 117th First Jet, and the 140th Golden Eagle, based at Nevatim Air Base in the Negev Desert. Israel currently has 39 F-35 aircraft and has signed a $3 billion agreement 
funded by US military aid, to purchase 36 more jets, forming a third squadron. Delivery will begin in 2027, with three aircraft arriving each year. Regarding technological innovations, the F-35 integrates many cutting-edge technologies that enhance its combat capabilities. Stealth is a key feature, using aligned edges, radar-absorbing coatings, and internal weapon storage to minimize radar detection. Its design scatters radar waves and reduces infrared signatures, making it difficult for enemies to detect. Advanced avionics is another standout feature, with the ANAPG-81 ASA radar providing long-range tracking and targeting. The Distributed Aperture System DAS, uses six infrared cameras to offer a 360-degree view, improving situational awareness. The Electro-Optical Targeting System EOTS, provides long-range detection and precision targeting, while the Helmet Mounted Display System HMDS, projects vital information on the pilot's visor, allowing them to see through the aircraft's structure for enhanced awareness. The F-35's integrated mission systems merge data from various sensors to create a coherent situational picture, supporting superior decision-making and effective information sharing among allied forces, offering a strategic edge in complex combat scenarios. The F-35 is a highly capable aircraft with a top speed of Mach 1.6, powered by the Pratt & Whitney F-135 engine, which delivers over 43,000 pounds of thrust. Advanced aerodynamics and flight control systems enhance its agility and maneuverability. The high project costs. The F-35 program, one of the most ambitious and costly in the history of the U.J.S. Department of Defense, has faced numerous challenges. The total cost of the program is expected to exceed $2 trillion over the aircraft's life cycle, including acquisition, operations, and sustainability costs. This figure has ballooned from initial estimates of $233 billion in 2001 due to inflation and plans to extend the aircraft's operational life until 2088. Updated costs include approximately $1.6 trillion for sustainability and $442 billion for acquisition. To mitigate rising costs, Lockheed Martin has implemented strategies like long-term supplier contracts, resulting in bulk procurement savings and a more stable supply chain. This approach has reduced the annual cost per aircraft from $9.4 million in 2014 to $6.2 million in 2022, and lowered the flight hour cost from $86,800 to $33,600 over the same period. And concerning technical shortcomings. Despite progress, the program still faces ongoing technical issues, with over 800 unresolved design flaws, including seven critical problems affecting the aircraft's readiness and safety. One issue is with cabin pressure regulation, causing severe sinus pain for pilots, and a malfunction with the night vision camera affecting night landings. The aircraft's third technological upgrade, TR-3, has also encountered supply chain problems and software verification delays, affecting delivery timelines for combat-ready aircraft. Consequently, there are plans to deliver the jets with a simplified version of the software, lacking some key combat capabilities. For global ownership, the U.S. leads in F-35 ownership with over 450 aircraft and plans to purchase 1,855 more for its land, sea and air forces. Other major users include the United Kingdom with 30 jets, Australia with 60, and Israel with 39 active F-35s and 36 more on order. Japan has 27 F-35s, South Korea has 40, and Norway operates 40 active F-35s with 12 more on order. The Netherlands has 34 jets with 18 on order, while Denmark has 10 active F-35s and 17 more on order. Several countries have placed orders for the F-35, including Poland 32, Germany 35, Finland 64, Switzerland 36, Singapore 12, Canada 88, and the Czech Republic 24. Notably, the US has blocked the delivery of F-35s to both Turkey and the United Arab Emirates to maintain Israel's military superiority in the Middle East. Despite Turkey's significant investment in the F-35 program, including advanced purchases of 100 F-35A jets and participation in the production of around 900 aircraft components, the UAS suspended Turkey from the program in 2019, citing its purchase of the Russian S-400 missile defense system as incompatible with NATO security protocols. Thanks for watching and see you soon for a new topic. Do not forget to hit that subscription button to help us grow. Bye-bye.